What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I'm chilling at the bar, hanging out. Rita's over there working. Look at her typing hard on the computer. I actually just came from the corporate office. I'm always at the corporate office. See, the bar is popping, it's chilling. We all having a good time. Slow motion. But I know the keys. I know the keys to fixing the economy, making sure that we never go into a recession, and ensuring that small business is successful. Listen up. The way that you fix it is that you have to prioritize small business. Small business is the backbone of the entire economy. Oh, wait, look at that. Look at that gorgeous girl over there. You point the camera the wrong way. Oh, yeah, look <laughs> at that gorgeous girl over there. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm going to open your door for you. I'm going to make sure you get in safely. Let me put my... Let me put my, um, you find that to be really, really funny. Hey, she kind of drunk tonight, y'all. Oh my goodness. This afternoon has been a drinking extravaganza on a Monday. <laughs> Happy hour somewhere. Oh, man. She been saying some wild stuff at the bar. Good thing that it's, uh, Got good insulation in this car. But no, literally, the thing that you need to do if you want to fix everything within the economy, prioritizing small business by forcing everybody to go back into work. Get rid of working from home. Get rid of the hybrid model. Get rid of all of that except for people um, that have multiple positions. Listen, if I was president, if I was running this country, if I was governor, it would be a completely different conversation. People would get mad and get upset, but it wouldn't make no difference because I'm right. I'm right because trickle down economics is absolutely a thing and it works. I go into the office on a regular basis, right? And you know what I see? Empty cubicles. The only people that are there are the smart ones. Tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat of why I call them the smart ones. The smart ones that want to get in front of executive leadership when in any other situation they wouldn't have any visibility into them but the smart ones and the executive leadership now even the ones that are there they run out they go get lunch we buy lunch we you know buy it for the whole team and things like that but what happens is those restaurants and the workers that work there they get patronage the plants from all of the auto workers patronage when you let people work from home only thing you did was empower walmart and amazon and ebay and StockX. because now everybody is doing e-commerce which e-commerce is great but e-commerce would be supplemental because in order to make sure that you got a vibrant city and economy you have to champion small business and it's not enough to just fund them it's not enough to just give them money it's not enough to just give them support you have to create the environment for them to be able to thrive. And that's why I know that the majority of lawmakers and the majority of politicians, they know nothing about running a city. They know nothing. Listen, anybody can manage a budget. Well, some people can. Most people can manage a budget. Most people can look at the blueprint that came before them, their predecessors, and say, okay, this is how we need to move and we're going to use that as a blueprint. Oh, we got a deficit. Oh, we got a shortfall. Oh, we got a surplus. Hey, listen, the, the goal is not to raise more taxes. The goal is to generate more revenue. Sorry about the wind, y'all. The goal is to generate more revenue. And one of the reasons why you can look at states with no taxes, such as Florida and Texas, and places like that, Arizona, Las Vegas, and typically they do a little bit better or much better in that case, and companies and businesses are starting to move there, such as Austin, right, and walking away from Silicon Valley. And the only reason that Silicon Valley was thriving in it in the first place is because California was the, the, the state that had the best weather and the best beaches and stuff. But now you can see a, a reversal of fortunes and that California's taxes are up. But why? Pretty soon it's going to be going down. And the reason why it's going to be going down is because their tax base is being eroded. People are trying to figure out how they can stay there, but how they don't have to designate California as the state that they live in. Ways to do it. 
I'm not going to talk about it because I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not telling y'all what to do. The only thing that I am telling you is the truth. The truth is small business, again, is the backbone of the economy. And if you ever want to be successful from a city planning perspective, or you want to be a manager, or you want to be a mayor, or you want to be a governor, or you want to be the president of the United States, and you want the economy humming, you don't give out more money. You don't have to focus so much on rates. Rates is the, the Fed's way of fighting inflation, but the way in which you empower people, the way you do it is three things. It's three things. A, you have to have a great public education because people want to be in an environment in which their kids can thrive and then employers want to be in an environment where they can pick from the best of the best. That's A. B, you have to have great public transportation. Great public transportation, it is the backbone of a strong, strong workforce, especially for those that are at the bottom or in the middle class because it gives them a way to be able to generate more revenue without having to cost more, right? When you got to pay taxes and insurance and car notes and all this other type of stuff, you take away from what's going on in the local economy. And then the third thing is you need to empower small business. The way you empower small businesses is to get people out and about. It's almost like tourist destinations, right? How do tourist destinations thrive without any real economy? Well, it's the people coming in, spending money, doing flights, doing all of the things that generate the revenue and then they provide jobs, they provide a vibrant economy, so on and so forth. And so ultimately everybody thrives, including the people that are visiting because they like going there. And it's a place where people wanna to move to all of a sudden and even take the revenue that they're generating in other places and then bring it there. That's why you see people moving to great places overseas and things like that. But ultimately what it comes down to is that if you are not focusing on the thing that generates the most revenue not give tax breaks, not do all that other type of stuff. The thing that generates the more re the most revenue, people will gladly pay whatever it is to do business there, but you gotta create the environment for them to be able to thrive. If you're not, they're gonna lose 10 times out of 10. So um, listen, don't get me started because my whole uh, way of being able to manage a city effectively, maybe I'll run for office one day. I don't know, I got a chick in here right now. She's sitting there with her privilege Rolex, having a good time, you all right? <laughs> She's been talking all kind of junk today. I haven't even seen you today. I've been talking to In the short amount of time that we were seeing each other, you had all kind of smoke. It's okay though. Really? Be you, boo. Be you, boo. Aww. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. The link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. If you need to get in touch with me personally, email me at antondaniels413 at gmail.com. We're going to set you up for a Zoom session. We're going to set you up for a phone call. And we're going to fix your life. Tap into the Patreon, yo. I got a new video dropping in two days. Actually, a day from now. And it's awesome. It's a new way in which I'm teaching people how to get to the bag. It is so dope, bro. And I'm always creating these immersive experiences, including build a business, including uh, live meetups. We got one coming within about a month from now. We got uh, the Discord that's popping. Make sure you align yourself with a group of people that's going in the direction that you're going in. And then we're going to uh, make sure that we continue to go up from here. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. But these politicians don't know what they're doing. All they're doing is doing the thing before them, which is kicking the bucket down the road. And that ain't helping nobody. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.